Welcome back to Kilt Build, everybody. This is the Highland Trickster, or I guess, as I currently look, Darth Chubbs for the evening. Uh, but I wanted to mainly talk about something I had been thinking about. I just wrote a quick note to myself, and the basic thing was, you know, it hurts to take the high road. And what I was kind of thinking with this is... No, everybody says take the high road and that it's easier to take the low road at, you know, being, you know, if somebody's insulting you, you know, it's easy to throw stones back, but it takes a bigger man or woman and it takes, it's the harder path to do what's right, you know, smile, keep walking on, whatever the situation demands. But... <clears throat> In that same way, with personal accountability, the, the same truth holds up. It's real easy to take the low road. And by that, I mean, it's easy to lie around, uh, stuff Cheetos in your mouth, drink two liters of Coca-Cola, like you're about to be going through a soda desert where there's not soda for miles and you got your last your last indulgence in, or you might die. It's easy to not work out and go for long walks or pick up a book or to even write down your thoughts so you can go back to them later. Being lazy is easy. It's the low road. That's not to say that it doesn't present its own problems or there could be things that are causing it. Crippling depression. You know, but I think there's a few people that claim things like critical depression, you know, unbearable anxiety, things like that, that could either be cured or being caused by the fact that they're not doing what they know they should be doing. And when you keep letting yourself down, you're the only person that suffers. You can let other people down by not you know, going to their birthday parties or, you know, skipping a meeting you had with them, running late. And that'll make them mad and they might leave or whatever, but the more important part is they can leave. They can abandon you. Or, you know, if you're the cause of it, they can ditch you. It's not really abandonment if you're being the through being the anchor that holds them down but no matter what you do you're always accountable to yourself you always gotta look yourself in the mirror when you get up you have a mirror in your house and you're the one that's always in your own thoughts talking to yourself telling you what you should be doing not doing it beating yourself over it getting more depressed getting more lazy eating more, drinking more, going to, you know, abusive substances for relief when, you know, the first step really is taking, a, taking the first step, whether that be an actual step towards walking and running or whatever, or, you know, the metaphorical one, pick up a book, you know, write something down call somebody that you told you would call them back. Show up early to an event. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is instead of us trying to get high to fix what's wrong with us, why don't we just take the high road to begin with instead of beating ourselves up constantly? I don't know. Just an idea for the day. Simplify. Get after it. I'll see you later.